In this video, I wanted to talk about the anti-inflammatory eating plan. I've actually been using this with our patients for a long time and have found by kind of by trial and error, these are foods that most people do really well. Most of the conditions out there that um, are inflammatory have been linked to what you're eating. So people with heart disease, diabetes, cancer, high blood pressure, a lot of that is diet and what you're eating. So what I wanted to share with you right now is the anti-inflammatory eating plan. What does it look like? I do have a handout and you can click on the link in this video and you will see that I do have a handout here and also um, kind of just like a sample um, day eating plan and even some pictures of what some of these look like. So your first list here is really just a lot of vegetables, pretty much has a list of all the vegetables that you can eat. They're cleansing type of vegetables or vegetables that um, usually will not create any type of um, inflammatory issues. Sometimes some people do have an issue with um, cruciferous vegetables like um, broccoli, like bok choy, like cabbage, um, Brussels sprouts. If you do, then all you need to do is cook them. Um, even with kale, if you do, cook them and add some um, dry mustard seed powder to that. Now, I also have a list of fruits. Um, and the vegetables, pretty much your goal should be five to seven cups a day. Uh, that shouldn't be too hard. You can just take a look at that. You can make a huge salad. You could put them in morning smoothies. You can stir fry them. So it shouldn't be that difficult to get your vegetables in. Fruits, I also have a list of fruits. Primarily you wanna choose berries, but have everything from apples to apricots to berries to goji berries. Some people will do well and some will not with goji berries. So cherries, grapefruits, and you've gotta be careful if you're on medication with the grapefruit. Um, grapes, kiwi, limes, um, some persimmons, pineapple in small amounts. The most that you should have um, with the fruits is a couple cups a day. Especially if you are, you wanna make sure that you're getting those five to seven cups of vegetables before you can have those two cups of fruit. So if you're only having like maybe three to five cups of vegetables a day, then maybe you should only shoot for one cup of um, fruits. And once again, fruits and vegetables should be organic. Now we do have some starches and fiber and other here, like we use a lot of aloe vera bo um, bone broth, which is very healing for the gut, for the joints, skin, hair, nails. I love bone broth. Um, there's even coconut yogurt, pretty much anything coconut, as long as it's unsweetened. Koyo is one of my favorite brands. Um, flax seeds, sweet potatoes, more of your starchier um, veggies. Um, of course, your protein is going to be any of your organ meats. It's going to be fish. It's going to be um, bison, um, turkey, you know, any poultry. I love this bone broth by Designs for Health. It's just, it's a great um, well-caught fish, of course. So we have a list of um, the proteins and their beverages is pretty much going to be water. I wouldn't encourage any um, any caffeine right now. We do have apple cider vinegar in here, some lemon juice, coconut milk. Can is preferred just because it has less um, less additives to it. Some of it has guar gum and people are sensitive. So you can have kavita and kombucha, which are fermented drinks. Uh, but if you really have, like if you have an autoimmune condition, I would say just stick to water for right now. And um, when you're looking at the servings, especially kombucha and kavita, make sure that it's less than six grams per serving of sugar, okay? Um, your different spices and herbs from dill, from salt, from um, sea salt, turmeric, vanilla, um, ground pepper, mint, nut, nutmeg, those are some great sources um, of spices and herbs you can use. Now, fats and oils, I would say the minimum is five tablespoons of either avocado oil or an olive oil or both. So you can switch avocado or olive oil. Just make sure you have five tablespoons. You're not counting what you're cooking with. You can cook with like coconut oil. So I wouldn't count that as, um, as one of the fats. So of course there's avocado, coconut oil, extra virgin um, olive oil, MCT oil, flaxseed, and macadamia nut. 
um, oil. So what you're, what are you gonna avoid? You're gonna avoid alcohol. You're gonna avoid anything that's corn, dairy products, eggs, gluten, industrial oils. That could be like canola oil. Um, we see that a lot. Vegetable oil, um, all legumes. So we're talking, yes, peanuts, um, beans. Um, you know, a garbanzo beans. You want to eliminate those. Your nightshades. We have a list of nightshades. Um, you know, like um, bell peppers. Um, people are like I don't you know I I want to have tomatoes and like well tomatoes and nightshade so we do have a link in here to get rid of um, to eliminate that from your diet nuts and seeds okay um, any processed food soy I definitely soy sugar wheat whey um, any gluten gluten is wheat oats rye and barley so none of that so what does this look like it's it basically looks like a lot of vegetables uh, a little bit of fruit and clean animal proteins and clean fats and lots of water. Pretty much that's what you're eating. Do this for four weeks, minimum four weeks, and then you can maybe add um, one of the foods back in here. Maybe you want to try nightshades. Um, definitely you don't want to add alcohol in there because you're going to feel horrible after doing this. Um, some people try eggs. What I have just seen in my clinical experiences most people do have a problem with eggs, even when they get the pastured raised. Sometimes they try duck eggs, um, goose eggs, and they still have a problem, especially those with autoimmune conditions because it shows up in their skin. Um, so maybe you can start with nuts or seeds, but make sure that they're sprouted or they're uh, they're raw, and then you can um, you can eat those. Uh, you know sparingly so that's the anti-inflammatory eating plan most people do amazing 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 in it and I'll challenge you to give it a try and we've seen so much success with people with diabetes with heart disease autoimmune conditions like thyroiditis like MS um, uh, we've also seen people with cancer do really well with this people with arthritis pain so I challenge you to give it a try. Like I said, click on the link below. You, we do have a list here. We also have like a sample um, eating plan of what would it look like for a day for you. And yeah, stay tuned into this channel and share with your friends uh, this information. This is amazing. It really can save some life. So until next time, I'll catch you on the next video. See ya. Bye.